Hi, I'm Reb Myron. I'm a minister through Pathways of Light, and I've been a Course in Miracles student for 40 years. I'm going through the lessons this year and asking Jesus to clarify for me. And then from that clar clarity, I'm writing whatever comes into my mind. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. So let's get started. Today, we're looking at lesson 118 for morning and evening review. Paragraph one, God's peace and joy are mine. Today, I will accept God's peace and joy and glad exchange for all the substitutes that I have made for happiness and peace. Sometimes the ego gets out of bed with me and wastes no time beginning its litany of complaints. But I've discovered that I don't have to accept this. It used to be about money and that was great. It gave me the opportunity to release the fear of lack, a belief that had plagued me all my life. Then it was victimhood until I lost interest in that belief. Then it was fear for my loved ones. That is the way it's gone for me for all the time I studied the course. Slowly, one false belief after another has fallen away. Lately, it's been about pain in the body. The moment my foot hit the floor, the nagging started. But I am losing interest in this too. When there is pain, I ask the Holy Spirit, what this experience is for? What am I to learn from it? What does he want me to know? Once that is done, I remind myself of the truth. I am not this body or in this body. I experience what the body experiences only when I am identified with it. So I see that this is something I must continue to work with. I'm grateful for the opportunity to accept God's peace and joy in exchange for my substitutes. I've done it before many times and I know that it works. So I'm doing it now and I will be patient and loving to myself while I do so. Another thing I do is to notice the chatter in my mind. The chatter is not so bad now as it used to be, but it's still there. I pay attention to that because it is the way the ego tries to wind me up. <laughs> this morning, I caught it right away. It was about the pain. What can I do about it? What if it gets worse? What does it mean? That kind of chatter. All that does is make it all seem so real. And as soon as I catch it, I stop it. This is my mind, my little kingdom, and I rule it. I decide what goes on in it, and this is not something I want. I bring myself back to the present moment where there is simply some pain. No questions unless they are for the Holy Spirit. No worry about possible futures, as that is a waste of time and another substitute for God's gifts. As soon as my mind is fixed in the present moment, I am a peaceful and happy person who has some pain. Paragraph two, let me be still and listen to the truth. Let my own feeble voice be still and let me hear the mighty voice for truth itself. Assure me that I am God's perfect son. When Jesus speaks of our own feeble voice, he is talking about the ego voice that we have been identified with to the point we believe it is our own voice. It is not. It's just a program running in our mind, an endless loop of problems with solutions that are guaranteed not to work <laughs> so that we must keep making more images with more useless solutions. We keep doing this because we believe in the ego and believe that we are this ego. And as Jesus tells us, what we believe is true for us. This is why we need a solution that works. This solution, and this is a capital S solution, is outside our belief system and knows that we're actually the son of God. It is not fooled into the false identity as we are. This voice for God knows we believe in the ego, but knows this is not true. Therefore, the voice can call us out of our illusions and into the truth. Let us today be still and listen to the truth. Let us listen to the Holy Spirit. Remind us of our true identity. On the hour, God's peace and joy are mine. On the half hour, let me be still and listen to the truth. 
Thank you so much for sharing this lesson with me today. Thanks for watching my video. And if you found it helpful, then please uh, subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow uh, with another lesson.